Program. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how you can make yourself some nice, lovely, lovely, lovely fried festival. Serve with Jamaican jerk pork. It's very, I want you guys to know that it is coming up to Jamaican Independent Day. Hopefully, you will love the recipe. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef We've got a cooking program. We've got a lot more recipe for you. Thank you so much, guys. I love this. So, basically, guys, I want to simply say to you today, we're going to show you how you can make yourself some lovely. Fry festival at home. Festival. Everyone loves festival, and especially when you're going with jerk pork. Or so. Let me basically show you what exactly what Chef Ricardo been doing in the kitchen. All the time we've been talking about festival, doing this, doing that. You guys not understand what's going on. I'm using self rising flour. Basically, I'm gonna put some flour straight inside of my bowl. I'm I'm pouring it straight from the flour bag at the moment. I've just pulled the bag and I'm pouring it straight from the flour bag. Nice and lovely. Put this at the side. I just buy my car meal and I'm pouring it straight from it. Also, so basically inside of the bowl right here, I roughly said three medium sized cups of plain, uh, sorry guys, a uh, self rising flour. Right here, I'm gonna put some car meal inside of it, like you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Nice one. Use my spoon and spoon and just give it a nice little stir like this. So roughly one cup of car meal that. One cup of car meal inside of the bowl. Cause you can't put too much car meal or you can't put too much flour. Because if we overpower it, I don't want that to happen. So right here I have some sugar. And this is right here, as you can see, roughly a half cups of medium sized sugar. Nice one. Pinch of salt, you don't need too much salt. That's a little pinch. Nice one. I'm gonna use some ola milk to make the dough. So pour some milk straight inside of it like this. Make you guys can see exactly what I got. But basically, as I wanna simply say to you, you see. Right here, the, 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 to make the dough, just keep stirring it just like this, and it's gonna take a little time until it form a dough. Dirty up your hand, don't shy to dirty up your hand, trust me, because this is a part of the game. Mad you know, man. A nice thing I'm telling you about this right here guys. This is just really excellent. So basically when you make the dough, this is how the dough gonna form. As you can see, this is how you make the dough. And I'm gonna show you how to fry it. God, this is the most key point, is to fry it. So as you can see, I'm using self-rising flour. That is the most important part is to use self rising flour. So, suppose you want to make some at your house, you're making for six person. Let's get one cup of flour, a half cup of cornmeal, 
quarter cups of sugar um, and roughly quarter teaspoon of salt. Take a little time, add some milk to it until it forms a dough like this. Then what you do, as you can see, how oh, the dough look already. A lot of people put too much caramel in it and it don't taste right. Simple cover it like this. If you have clean flim it, then clean flim it, or if not, you can just cover it like that for two hours. Nice and lovely. So, let's move this. So, roughly right here, guys, to be honest with you, it's going over roughly two and a half hours now, to be honest. But that's even better. So, if you get the dough, it's good to have it in a bag or something really wrapped up. Just get it. Because the more the dough get to rest, is the better for it. As you can see, if not, what you can do is to make life a little bit more easy for you guys. It's simple. Sprinkle a little flour inside of the bowl. As you can see, I got a medium sized pot on the stove right for about 4 or 5 minutes now with some oil inside of it. Enough oil to fry the dough. Look how this fry. So, this is exactly what I'm gonna do right now, guys, and hopefully. You can see exactly what I'm doing. You can do many as a light inside of a pot. And I'm gonna take a little time and fry it until they get float. Nice and lovely. Very easy and simple for you guys to make at home. Yes, guys, as I can see, what's bubbling up inside of the front pot right over here. This is the festival, Jamaican festival. Look right here, I got a piece of napkin inside of this calendar right here. I take out my Jamaican festival and like this, and I put it straight inside of it like this. Get rid of some of the grease. Got too much grease, not good for you. You have to get rid of some of the grease. Really nice and beautiful. Hopefully you will love the recipe. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program, guys. It's just amazing to be in the kitchen. One more time again. Explain it to you how to make Jamaican festival. It's amazing. right yeah really nice look at this one guys beautiful so as I said this is the Jamaican festival this one looking so lovely and fantastic beautiful nice the best thing when you're making this kind of dumpling you need to put it down for it to rest sprinkle a little flour on it because the flour will help you to take away the stickness of the sugar so as you can see all these look guys I'm gonna turn off my stove now because these are finished and these are beautiful. This is nice to go with some jerk chicken or some jerk pork. Whatever you like, you can have it with it. So basically, as I show you how to make the Jamaican festival from scratch. So beg you please guys, be here with me. Love the recipe. And thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. We've got a lot more recipe coming out. So as you can see. Oh, the festival is looking so wonderful. <laughs> My God, it ever. Look at this, guys. This is beautiful. Really nice. And this is a proper Jamaican festival, as you can see. This is homemade one. And as you can see, the best thing when you make the festival, please add a little flour on it just to keep it. Because when the sugar dissolves, it will get soft and sticky. So what the flour do help it. Put it down for roughly one nice good hour and a half, two hour, 
just for it to get rest so make it from early and get it rest really nice so thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program we got a lot more recipe coming up for you and this is the way you make Jamaican festival enjoy the recipe thank you so much bye bye